If you know anything about a 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner, a 68 Dodge Charger 440, or a 1971 Plymouth Barracuda, well, this is the show for you. Today we visit k Filters, the world's leading manufacturer of washable performance air intake systems. Since 1969, k has been perfecting the reusable high-flow cotton air filter they created, and today their iconic logo can be seen at car events around the globe, including NASCAR, the Sprint Car Series, and the NHRA Top Qualifier Series, as well as many others. So let's go inside and learn more about one of Riverside's top employers on this episode of Made in Riverside. Hi, Greg. Hey. Welcome to K&N. Hey, Glad Thanks you guys could really make it out. It. Really, appreciate it. really excited to have Made in Riverside here. Thank you. We really want to show you all the different ins and outs of putting together an air filter. So, And this is where it begins, right This here. is exactly where it begins. We're here in our pleating area. And as you can see behind us here, the raw material comes in. We have the, the screen and the cotton gauze that makes up our air filters. And then in front of us here, we have a pleating station. And what we're doing right here is we have two layers of screen, one on each side and we have four layers of cotton, so it's a four-ply cotton filter. And as it goes through this pleating head here, it takes and it sets the pleat at a specific height. We have probably 2,000 different iterations of pleat packs that we make for all of the thousands of air filters that we make, right? Now, talk about the cotton. Yes. Why is cotton so significant for K&N, and what's the difference between that and the competitors out there? Well, most of the competitors use basically cellulose, paper elements, right? What's good about cotton is it's washable and reusable. It's a lifetime filter. You buy it once, you service it, you wash it, you put it back in your vehicle. Doesn't go in the landfill. We're able to get a million miles out of the filter, right? But it gives you tremendous airflow, performance increase, and sometimes you get a slight fuel economy increase. So all those are good things. So good for the environment and the car. Absolutely, absolutely. So like I said here, we have the pleating head, which actually then forms the pleat, right? So we have a specific height pleat here. It's about seven eighths of an inch, right? And it moves down here. And as it goes through, it goes to what's a slitting operation. It compresses the pleat pack and then it slits the roll into the width that we need to cut them to length over there in what we call pleat pack, which we'll see later in the show. Now you have different size pleats. Yes, absolutely. We have different height pleats based on the amount of airflow you need to get through the filter or how much dirt retention it needs to hold. So, and the machine determines that how? By the, the size of the teeth that are in that pleating machine. In the pleat height, it actually goes across and it pleats the material together as it folds it. Okay, Greg, let's go out in the shop now and check out where we just saw that pleated material across the street. It's where we put all our filters together. Let's go. Good deal. Well, Greg, what we have here is a, what we call a roll-up. This is what came off the pleated machine you saw across the street. And this is a co-pleated, it's got screen on each side. It's really just aluminum powder coated screen like you'd have on your screens on your window. Very, very durable. And, and four layers of cotton gauze material. The cotton gauze that's in the middle between the co-pleated screen is the actual filtration media. That's what stops the dirt. And that's what gives you such uh, airflow potential is the dry cotton media. And this is a secret to K&N success That right is here. the secret to K&N success. K&N filters were invented in 1969 by Ken and Norm, K&N. Right. And they were using them on motorcycles that they rented on the beach. And after a day, the filters would be plugged up, the engines would stop running. So they had to come up with a way to wash filters, reuse them. They couldn't take and put brand new filters on them every day. So that's where they invented the K&N filter, and it's just expanded from there. And how many of these is K&N producing a month, a year? Well, I mean, over the course of a year, we make two million filters. Two million filters. Wow, that's two a lot of filters. Over two million air filters last year we sold to the general public. And the cars that are driving down the road today, we have at least around 5% coverage. In other words, every vehicle you see on the street, 5% of them have a K&N mm. filter on them. And we take... Of those vehicles, we have a direct fit filter for 98% of the vehicles on the road today. Greg, over here in this operation, this is where the workers take and they actually count the amount of pleats that are going to go in a filter. So what she's doing is she's counting the specific amount of pleats. Okay. Once she's done with that, 
she'll take and shear it to length, right? Once she gets enough of them built up, they'll come over here and they do what we call scrunching, okay? And she takes and pulls it and sets it. And that's how compressed we want that filter when they take and put it into the mold to make a filter, right? So when you set it in there, that's the size it's going to be. It's not going to expand at all? That's correct. The operator over there may take and expand it slightly to make it fit the mold appropriately. Okay. But after she's done this operation, then you see here where they're putting the clip on the filter and they're crimping the filter and making it one piece. And that's what seals the pleat pack into a round sealed element so it won't leak any contaminants past it. They will put the things into boxes. It'll get put away in our three-story pick module behind us. And then when the system needs to build a filter, it'll pick that material and bring it down to one of the urethane carousels. So why don't we go see how we put filters together? Let's do it. We're right now at a urethane carousel. We call these machines carousel. This is a 12 station carousel. And we make all the equipment and we make all the tooling here on site. We design everything ourselves. There's really not, there's, you could pay someone to make the equipment, but in the way of design, it's pretty much up to us how we want our filters to be made. So filters are made here. Mm -hmm. the, the molds are made here. Yes, the sir. equipment that yep. the, everything is on is made right here. That's right. On site. Yes, sir. Designed and made. What you see here is where they're injecting the urethane right into the cavity of the mold, right? And what they'll do is once the urethane is in there, they're setting the pleated material down into the mold. And once that's done, you see it's already gone around once and it's got the urethane on the top side. Right. Now he's getting ready to do that operation of what you saw him load. Okay. So we never lose a rotation. So each mold takes a specific amount of urethane. Each mold must run at a specific temperature so it cures at the right rate. And so he'll load it here. You have a, a woman over here that's unloading a filter that's finished, and then you have a trimmer. And so they're inspecting the filter and they're trimming any of the flashing off the filter. And from here, where does it go? Well, once it's trimmed and inspected, it will go back into a tote, and our business management system will run it all through the plant to its.